Uh, in his reaction to the Supreme Court judgment, the candidates of the Congress for Progressive Change in the April presidential election, a retired Major General Mohammed Buhari, said the Supreme Court turned a blind eye to the evidence presented by his party, which showed gross violation of the Electoral Act and the principles of free and fair contest. The former head of state of Nigeria said that contrary to the popular view that the chairman of INEC, Professor Tahiru Jega, is a man of integrity and competence. The INEC boss did not demonstrate such during the election and the country will have to live with the consequences of the Supreme Court's judgment. Over the declaration of 86% to 90% of votes registered and cast in most part of the southeast and south-south states was highly implausible given the general turnout of 50% to 60% in the rest of the country. No election is credible where 100% of votes cast were for one candidate in many constituencies and 90% in some states. This is plain pro. The Supreme Court has turned a blind eye and deaf ear to these gross irregularities. That is the theme running through all the three elections since 2003. The country now has to live with the consequences of the elections of PDP government in collaboration with INEC, police and security services over the last 10 years.